say anything. Make sure you subscribe. All right, YouTube. You already know every haircut you do, you always want to start off. You know what I'm saying? Just prepping the hair, getting it ready. This cut, we're gonna do a design with a burst fade on the side. Y'all see it right there. Um, as a barber, you know you gotta, you know you gotta uh, like work around the picture because. You know, as a picture, you're not everything is not gonna be exactly like the picture, so you just gotta go like go with what you can. Um, so we starting this first guideline just around the ear. I, d I did a little bit higher on this because I wanted to see the blend, um, and plus the picture has a more um, uh, extended blend than a regular burst fade. So doing this first guideline, just going around the ball guideline with the lever open. Um, about a half inch wide and then next after that we're going to take the one guard open and just debulk like the whole side um, the reason why her hair is not done on the top because she wanted to get her hair done first I mean she wanted to get her hair cut first and then get her hair done on the top after because um, it, it would have been a, a real hard process to do it the other way around but we're going to soften up this middle line using the one guard closed before we use the zero guard close using our corners. Now we got the zero guard close adjusting the lever when needed. Okay. And now we're just gonna get this blend as clean as possible. This blend was kind of tough because her hair, she got like real thick coarse hair. So it could be it's harder to blend, but once you do get it to blend, it looks crazy. So you just gotta take your time and then just go through your steps all right y'all now we're taking out this bottom line um, this bottom line was kind of hard but kind of easy at the same time to take out so you just take out the bottom line um, after, if you see a line like pop out or if you raise it too high just adjust the lever and um, take that line out and uh, yeah just just get the, the, the fade as clean as possible and just get it as blurry as possible All right, y'all, now it's time for the detail work. The um, fade was okay, but you always want to be able, able to take it to the next step. Um, your clients, most of your clients will appreciate the detail work, I promise me. I promise you, they will. All right, so y'all see in the picture, the, um, the back had a little like curve on both sides, almost like a design. Um, I feel like I, I never did this right here before. I never did it before, but what I'm doing is starting it in the middle of the back of the head and then just curving it up all the way to the side. Um, after watching it over, I took. I feel like I could have brought that that top line I'm lining up um, a little bit lower. It would have gave me more room for the actual design part on the side, but the cut it still it still came out pretty dope, especially for my first time doing a cut like this. Now he's gonna do a little bit more detail work, just cleaning up everything before he put the design in on the side of the head. Alright y'all, so now, this, this is the design part. Uh, after we do this curve, this little curve on it, I'm gonna explain to y'all how to do a design as best as I can. It's no real way to explain this. Uh, only way I can really teach you is if I'm right next to you, but I'm gonna try to explain it to the best of my ability, alright? So what you wanna do is, get the picture, and hold it in your other hand, get your trimmers, and just make a rough draft first okay don't make don't try to make the lines real crispy in the beginning none of that just put the lines in um after you put the lines in then you want to define it using a sharper clipper eraser uh you can add enhancements if you want to and 
just make make sure design as clean as possible without making it too thick if it's too thick then it's gonna look it's gonna look wild nobody wants a too thick design because it's, it's it's just gonna look crazy but yeah just make sure you take your time don't rush a design because one little misstep it could be all over but to be honest with y'all i'm not even really like i'm not even really good with designs like that and like to me i'm just when i was younger i used to draw a lot so i know how to like replicate pictures so whatever i just see i just try to put it exactly like how it is and then add my little my own little touch to it and now i'm using my 360 gz and the simline pose he actually sent these to me um for free appreciate you that's just it shows the love that he got for me <laughs> I can see a design coming, it's coming together, man. Using the corners, just being real surgical with it. Now, I'm gonna use the uh, enhancements. I know some of y'all don't like enhancements, but you know what I'm saying? It takes the cut to a whole nother level, especially if the cut is good before the enhancements. Just imagine what it could be like after it. So, just wanna apply it. I'm applying it to the top in the bottom of every line but i'm not over straining it to where it looks like fake um after you apply it you just want to reline everything then i'm going to use the vibrant magic pencil on the sides like the lineup part in the back um make sure you use your razor just to clean up the stubbiness inside design that'll make it look real bald and it'll pop out more and last longer Alright y'all, so this is this, this the other side, it's the basic fade part, I'm going to just speed this whole thing up, and uh, hopefully y'all remember the steps.
right, y'all, this is the cut. I feel like this day came out crazy. The design is clean. The fade is blurry, okay? Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Um, comment what you think and subscribe if you're new. Let me know what other tutorials y'all want. I got a lot of bangers in the chamber just waiting to be put out. So, I'm going to try to get those out as fast as I can. Um, bring, I'm only bringing fire content 2021. I got to. Got to go off. This year, trying to blow. All right. But, yeah, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. At wavyk underscore kev. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. This is...